Fortnite fans, rejoice! After years of uncertainty and speculation, Epic Games has announced that Fortnite will triumphantly return to iOS devices later this year. This news comes as a breath of fresh air for the millions of players eagerly awaiting the return of their favorite Battle Royale game to the iOS platform. However, this announcement comes with several caveats and implications worth exploring. In this video, we will explore what this means for players, the mobile gaming landscape, and the ongoing battle between Epic Games and Apple. First and foremost, let's address the elephant in the room. The legal and regulatory hurdles that led to Fortnite's initial removal from the iOS App Store. The conflict between Epic Games and Apple began in August 2020 when Epic introduced a direct payment system in Fortnite, bypassing Apple's 30% commission on in-app purchases. In response, Apple swiftly removed Fortnite from the App Store, citing violations of its developer guidelines. A protracted legal battle between the two tech giants followed, with Epic Games accusing Apple of anti-competitive behavior and monopolistic practices. The case has since sparked debates about App Store policies, consumer choice, and the power dynamics between platform holders and developers. Fast forward to today, and we find ourselves on the brink of Fortnite's return to iOS, albeit with some significant changes. Epic Games has confirmed that Fortnite will be available in Europe on iOS through the Epic Games Store, thanks to the Digital Markets Act, DMA, a new law in the European Union to promote competition and consumer rights in the digital market. This development is significant for several reasons. Firstly, it represents a victory for Epic Games in its ongoing battle with Apple. By circumventing Apple's restrictions and leveraging the DMA, Epic has found a way to bring Fortnite back to iOS while challenging Apple's dominance in the mobile gaming market. Secondly, it highlights the growing importance of regulatory intervention in the tech industry. The DMA is just one example of lawmakers taking action to rein in the power of big tech companies and promote fair competition. As consumers, we stand to benefit from increased competition and choice in the digital marketplace. From a player's perspective, the return of Fortnite to iOS is cause for celebration. For many mobile gamers, Fortnite was more than just a game. It was a social hub, a creative outlet, and a source of entertainment. The absence of Fortnite from the iOS platform left a void that many players struggled to fill. With Fortnite set to make its comeback, players can look forward to diving back into the action-packed world of Battle Royale on their iOS devices. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or a newcomer to the game, there's no denying the excitement and anticipation surrounding Fortnite's return. However, tempering our expectations and acknowledging the challenges ahead is important. While Epic Games has found a way to bring Fortnite back to iOS in Europe, the situation remains to be determined for players outside the EU. Apple's continued resistance to sideloading and alternative app stores means that players in other regions may still need help accessing Fortnite on iOS. Furthermore, the long-term implications of this development are yet to be seen. Will other developers follow suit and launch their app stores on iOS? Will Apple be forced to reconsider its app store policies in light of increased regulatory scrutiny? These are questions that remain unanswered, but warrant careful consideration moving forward. In conclusion, the return of Fortnite to iOS marks a significant milestone in the ongoing saga between Epic Games and Apple. It demonstrates the power of regulatory intervention in shaping the digital marketplace and underscores the importance of competition and consumer choice. For players, the return of Fortnite is a welcome development that promises to reignite the excitement and camaraderie that define the game's heyday on iOS. As we look ahead to the future of mobile gaming, one thing is clear, the battle for the hearts and minds of players is far from over, and the outcome will shape the gaming industry landscape for years to come.